Okay, welcome back again to uh, another session with our controller board for operating the, our Iron Man helmet. Uh, in this part, we're going to actually get it set up to operate a servo. The last piece we got, or the last video, we got it ready to accept the switch. Now we're going to get it ready to accept the servo. And just like the one I've already prepared here, we're going to, for this, we need a three pin connector for the servo. Uh, this is actually from a set of pins you get with uh, some of the other projects. Um, so you'll actually get some of these, I think with the uh, controllers, the RF controllers, I think you get a stick of these. Um, but there are also actual three pin connectors that you can order that um, pre-bend. These ones I had to bend myself and cut down to three pins and then bend them myself. So, but this is what I'm going to use for this. Um, but again, on like sites like SparkFun, uh, they have three pin connectors available. And then the other thing we need is a 330 resistor and the reason I know that we need a 330 resistor is because we're using page 19 of our pickaxe PDF again this will be linked in the description um, we need to the run the 330 resistor from or to the top of our servo the uh, white or yellow wire um, to our actual pin that's going to operate it. Now, on this, we're going to use pin 2. So, this resistor is going to go from pin 2 to the uh, bottom of our uh, three pin connector because that's where the uh, white or yellow wire from the servo will be connected to. So, uh, we'll do that and then uh, the other thing we need is a 100 nanofarad capacitor to go in between the 5 volt and the 0 volt ground um, as the diagram shows here. Now this just says 100N and that stands for nanofarad. Um, and in my spares box here, this old uh, little bits container, I have my SparkFun capacitor kit. Um, this was actually part of a box that I had to cut off of here. But what we're going to use is these are labeled 104s, which are our 100 uh, nanofarad capacitors. This is what we're going to use here. So we're just going by this chart and um, by the PDF. So we just need one of these. And again, this is going to go in between our 5 volt power and our ground on this board. So, um, as I did in this one, we're going to actually put the 3 pin all the way over here on the end. And I'm actually going to move this up one. Let's move that up one. Again, this is just so we have enough room. Actually, I move that back down. Again, this is just so we have enough room to uh, work all the other pieces. Now, what I'm going to have to do take this off here. Try and spin it around, and I'm going to hold this into place just like that. It really helps to have like a setup like this or something. I use extra fingers basically. Okay, we're just going to solder that three pin connector into place. Good to go there. And like I said, on this bottom one, that's where we're going to run our resistor. So. From pin 2, which is 
label pin uh, number two. We're going to run this resistor into one of those slots. And then we're going to run the other end all the way to one of these holes next to the bottom pin on our three pin connector. Careful not to get that touching the other resistor there. Okay, now that's in place. I'll just solder that really quick. Okay, that's soldered in place. Oops, sorry. I hit the mic. I'm sure that was very noisy. I apologize. So, we're just going to trim these wires real quick. Come on. There we go. Trim this one. Okay. So that's the resistor and the three pin connector. Now what we're going to do is run our ground, which I have pre-cut little strip pieces here. Now the ground is the top one. Yeah. So that's the top pin. So we're going to run the ground all the way to the top of our three pin connector and then down to the ground on our board. Bend this one over so it holds it into place. Let's hit that with some solder. Give it tight. Oh. Yep, slid out. Fix that quick. Okay. The other end. Run them back into place. Now where I'm connecting this wire is actually on the third pin, or the third, third slot, I'll use this. so it's the third slot on this top pin, so we're going to leave these middle ones open for right now. That's where we're going to put our capacitor. So this um, ground wire, this ground jumper wire, is going to go from this middle third slot up to our 5 volt power line that's on the top here. So let's get this last part of our ground into place. Okay. That's done. I'm going to stop using that little piece there. A little too short for finger safety. Okay, now we're going to put this red jumper wire into the middle and send it all the way to the top which is our 5 volt line. I apologize for repeating myself, I just want to make sure I narrate as I go here so I'm not forgetting anything and we'll just solder that into place This one. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's that. Trim this a little bit. I'll go on one and we'll do this one as well. Okay. Now we can take our capacitor and we want to put that in between the two. So, in between the three pin connector and our power and ground lines, we're going to slide this down into there. And again, if you want an explanation on why we do this, check out James' video. As always, I don't pretend to know what I'm doing, I just know that it works. So, I keep doing it. Okay. 
putting this capacitor in place. This side. Make sure that's good. Yep, that looks good. Well, for somebody good at soldering, it probably doesn't, but it'll work. Okay. And now we're wired up to hook our servo together or to this board so on to the next phase um, see you then later